What's up, guys? It is your boy Big Ryan 16 back wearing a video drop. Hope you guys are having a good day, night, afternoon, where you guys are watching this video. And today we're gonna wrap two things you will get roasted for by Bird Eye. My saying that bullshit. Roasting. An All right, let's see how this is. Been around for so long. Years have passed, and people are still getting cooked. Now, roasting is just all fun. Especially when it's at school. Especially when it's at school. But sometimes you're the main target, and you're the only one that's getting roasted. And that's why getting roasted can be so painful. Like, sometimes you're going to have to be the guy that gets roasted in your friend group, because sometimes that's just how it is. And sometimes it's toxic. Sometimes it's like, oh, no. Nah. It's not toxic. We just like you. Like, you know, need someone to make fun of. <laughs> pieces of hair sticking up. But that doesn't matter. People are going to say you look like Alpha Alpha from the little rascals and oh, I mean, my oh, parents would get on my head and say this to me and i've been roasted so much in my day-to-day -day life that i'm like you know what i just learned to embrace it at this point people are gonna roast you it is what it is like 95 percent of the time people are joking but sometimes people really mean that shit and i just sit there and think to myself damn my eyes really that far apart am i walking around Fire. looking like sid the sloth and i take sid the sloth look oh yeah actually myself. let me not even say that because that might be right up to my eyes just to make sure no i'm just kidding but back in the day and even now there are a lot of things that i still get cooked for now i hated having short hair but my parents made me get it cut really short but there was this one yo honestly yo no cap when i say i can relate to this i can relate to this like throughout elementary school and then like half of middle school my parents would just make me get like a fresh cut light like a head light shave or it just make me bald and there would be so many times where i would just get like fucking clean like someone say, hey, I like your cut, G. Like, they'll just smack my head for no reason. Like, I know they're, they're like joking, all jokes and all that, but it's like, God, God damn, why you gotta smack me in my head? One time where my dad was just like, you know what? You got a garbage haircut. I don't know what the hell they did to your head. We're shaving it off. So they sat me down in the kitchen. I got a chair out of the basement. Oh, uh, you also went completely shaved. And you can only imagine the roasts that were headed in my direction. I mean, great yeah, really like an elementary school roast. My friends were just calling me baldy as my hair follicles were non-existent. And when all my friends came, I around, you. it was so bad that I wore a hat. Yeah, I experienced the same thing. Like, I didn't even wear a hat. I was just because it's like, what else am I supposed to do? What else am I supposed to, like, you know, just complain about it? Mm. Finally grew back. I had the courage like, you know, my parents would not let me get braids. As you could imagine. It was only until middle school it's like, you know, I actually explained why I should have, like, started experimenting with my hair a lot. We conquered the world through thick and thin. We were really locked in like that. But another thing people would get roasted for back in the day is having a crush. If you had a crush, everybody was going to get on your head. For I feel like this is, I feel like this is still common. I roast you. But no matter what. I the energy, A-K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Hey, let me stop, let me stop. try to interrogate me, and it was at the most random times too. We could have been sitting there playing Pokemon cards. You have a crush. Spill the beans. I know you do. Okay, that was over dramatic. You get the point. Having a crush was a big deal. So what I did instead is I would join in on roasting the people that did have a crush. There was this one time where my friend was on the phone with his crush. And we were all in an Xbox party with him. And we played the most edgy and offensive memes that we could possibly think of. And his crush <laughs> got mad and hung up the phone. Yeah, bro. Damn. For that. I'm not gonna Damn. Um, no, hell no, L friends, L friends, bro, for real. Okay, but now, like, on some for, for real shit, though, like, I feel like this is still very common, like, like, definitely in school and middle school, and I'll probably say a little bit in high school, like, you probably wouldn't get made fun of for, like, having a crush, because, like, oh, you have a crush on this girl, all right, that's very, that's very nice, but in middle school and elementary school, you have a crush, and people know, they're definitely gonna integra guys you like hella they're gonna be like hey do this for me or else i'm gonna tell your fucking crush 
but it's kind of funny looking back on it. Like, look, if I was going to get roasted, I had to participate myself from time to time. Another big thing that people would get roasted for was their hairline. And the big thing when I was like... Thankfully, I always had a hairline whenever I got my hair cut it. Like, before, like, one time I did go bald, but, like, thank the Lord I had, like, a great hairline when I actually had a light shade. Like, now my hairline's, like, pretty much fucked, but, like, you know. Thankfully, thankfully, it's better. Thankfully, it's way better. Thankfully, it's way better. When it asked to see your hairline, they would demand to see your hairline. They wanted to make sure that it wasn't a McDonald's hairline. This dude McDonald's ass hairline. In one year, just to make sure that my hairline didn't just magically change overnight. And oh my God, forget it. If you had a McDonald's hairline, yeah, see, I was friends with this one kid who did have one. This dude got called Ronald McDonald every day of his life. <laughs> Ronald McDonald. I from that Thankfully, I can't relate. Later, Thankfully, so I cannot relate. Thank the Lord. I cannot relate to having a McDonald's as hairline, thankfully. Ready to go. And I was the main target of this joke. And still to this day, I get cooked for it sometimes. I just don't really talk unless I have something of importance to say. I know I do this whole YouTube thing, but in real life, it's a lot different for me. So yeah, I've heard every school shooter joke under the sun. Guys, he's reaching in his backpack. Oh my God. And they were just expecting me to just pull out an AR-15 in GTA. You know? <laughs> AR-15 GTA. In honestly, I feel like I really can't relate. I would just put my like someone like, honestly, I have heard every like school type of shooter type of joke, but like... This emo ass haircut in middle school. Thankfully, of course, honestly, yeah, thankfully, I I never had like an emo ass hair like haircut. Not gonna Pokemon go. backpack, and I wore the same Pokemon and Mario T-shirts every day. And in middle school, I was the neon kid. Like I had every color of traffic cone that you could imagine. I would walk in and just flashbang people with how bright these damn colors were. And I would wear sweatpants that were years old, bro. They had holes in them. They were dusty as hell. And you know, I wasn't exactly a fat. Honestly, now I'm gonna hold you when I say I I was not really not into fashion. Like now, like I, I put on way better fits because I know like what type of style I like where it's like either colors gotta match or I gotta wear something that's at least you know, fashionable. But at elementary school and middle school, I really wasn't and that was just due to the fact that our schools were quite like uniform and all that, so we had to wear a specific type of uniform. So unless we was like going on like some type of trip or something, or we're doing some type of field day, then I would just wear that almost all the time. Like I'm so glad my high school does not require like you know um uniforms, cause like oh I can actually now you know test out different types of fashion and see what looks good on me, what I like, what doesn't, what look you know be pretty much shit on me. But it's like elementary school, middle school, I can definitely relate. I was. Mick and Fitz was really not my thing until halfway in middle school. Fashion connoisseur over here. Like you could have stuck my ass on the runway with how goofy my outfits were. There was this one time I got made fun of for having a Pokemon backpack and I cried about it all day and even when i got off the bus and thankfully in elementary school there, there were certain kids that like you know collect the pokemon cards or do or did like blade blade so honestly i'm so glad i never got made fun of this we can't forget this i still like pokemon now nowadays this one's really prevalent in this was definitely college this was someone me this was someone me nobody really cared about because i i i did not look good like now i look good to where i can pick up girls high school the whole no bitches but like this is definitely me elementary school middle school like i got like i got i got zero bitches like i i'm gonna be around when i say i try to say something like i got i definitely got like zero bitches like i would probably say like one in middle school but other than that i rarely and i mean rarely pick them dead it was over and where these roast sessions would take place is usually uh, at the cafeteria, cafeteria. table it's like you know the teachers aren't looking so it's like you know they're not gonna do anything unless you know you guys start like actually fighting the center of a roast circle that's like asking to get cooked or sometimes people would have rap battles against each other and people in the crowd would make a beat crazy times but i was not getting involved but if it wasn't them making a beat, they would, they would find like the most randomest beat on youtube and just use that sometimes sometimes it'll be fired sometimes it, it was just straight up ass and some like just straight up cringe not gonna hold you just straight up ass you want them to just keep roasting each other back and forth getting involved sometimes is a death sentence especially if you know that dude is good at roasting there are a lot of times where people got on my head for laughing so i just decided not saying anything at all was probably the best option but not gonna hold you if i laugh and i'm trying not to get caught by someone else or like a teacher i would just do like the mouth the mouth the like the mouth technique where it's like 
Like somebody could say your head looks like an egg, bro. You look like Andrew Tate. And this dude will come out of the woodworks and say, that's why your mom tragically passed. Or sometimes I'll just bite my tongue. Like, damn. God damn. Like, I'll be like, mom into it. What the fuck? Like, that's just too far. Like, it's just friendly banter back and forth. And that's then it's like, you know, I, I won't get caught laughing. Hurt his feelings. Because so. <laughs> if I get caught laughing, I know someone's is, like going to generally like just roast the shit out of me. I'm just like, let me not. The instigator. Because I can roast, but like, says personally, I'm not a D1 roaster. Disrespect. And they start escalating the beef between you and this other person. They're just trying to sit there, chill with Thankfully, the I was never the instigator. Thankfully, I, I was never friends with someone who, like, person. He was I was sometimes friend with, friend. friends with them, but no, not all the time, because I'm like, I, I want to get involved. I want to get involved, and I really don't want to get in a fight. Like, you know, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to live my life, so like. you get involved yourself? But then there's the kid that gets violent. Like, he takes it so personally that he just decides to throw some punches. I didn't know it was that serious to the point where he had to get up. For some reason, thankfully, thankfully. The more I went to school, the more it got better for me. But elementary school, it was just... Oh! Ew! Dude! What the... Like, every day, every... I'm not gonna say the middle school... I'm not gonna say the elementary school, because, like, you know, unless you see, like, my um Instagram, then, like, you know, you'll probably already know what it is, but I'm not gonna say it for a video. But every single... Every single day, or at least every single week or month, there was someone fighting, and that's because most of the kids that were in, like, my class or, like, my graduation year were violent stupid or they just really like fighting for no reason so they would find the most absolute reason to either fight with someone or they just jump them so they can't like you know they were gonna have to force the fight like i don't know why but it was just an elementary school it was just like that was the main reason that i got into fights is because there was just a lot of violent kids or like a lot of kids that just really didn't like each other like thankfully it got better in middle school because honestly I don't, I don't think i ever like caught a fight in middle school unless it was just like two couples i don't want to sound like that and in high school not really like a high school type of fight it's more like you know high school people fighting outside of school because like sometimes there'll be like dumbass kids from other type of high schools and even middle schools coming near our school but I Outside of that, I like. Thankfully, I've been in a couple of fights where I won some, lost some, but it's like. And just start throwing haymakers at this random dude. This dude cannot handle being roasted. He needs to win somehow. And I guess he thinks him throwing punches and just beating this kid up for no reason is going to get him the win. But in reality, it's only going to make you look worse. It's different if it gets, like, very disrespectful. Obviously, I'm not letting that shit slide. Yeah, you can't let it shit, like, like slide, but if it's actually just, just go, shuffle, it's like... That deep at all. There's always going to be the one person who gets insane information. I don't know how they get it. I don't know where they get it from. But they just happen to know everything about you. They might be watching you at night. You got to be careful. This person what? is your number one stalker. So you don't want to even try going up against them in a roast battle. They just dig up the most cryptic piece of information that nobody knew about. And it's over for you. There's no coming back at that point. Most People of the time it's because they knew friends that know that shit about you. In middle school in another state. And you moved here just to avoid the embarrassment like that has got to cut deep and then we got the dude that tries to roast you in front of the girls there's always that guy yeah there's always boys that do this just because they think oh if i know how to roast someone then like you know i'm gonna get all the hosts but like no sometimes people can roast but can't fight for the life of them so it's like you know sometimes you gotta watch your mouth otherwise you know you're just gonna get you know shit snapped you know what i'm saying like now was on my phone at the whole Home screen at this point i put down my phone because i didn't want to be rude when they came in and because i put my phone down they thought i was trying to hide x-rated videos or some shit first of all f that shit it's terrible for you and second of all why would i even watch it in front of people and keep in mind i didn't know these people at all and they were saying like i was trying to hide a boner or some shit and then they just <laughs> hide a bone what and, left. and they just went back to doing whatever the hell they were doing wait 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 wait, wait what hell nobody really cared rose battles rose sessions getting roasted it was a lot of the reason why i was the quiet kid if you want to watch my fails and struggles the struggle of being a quiet kid on this video thankfully i wasn't the quiet kid but if you guys want me to uh check out that video please tell me in the comments it's not gonna hold you i would check that out 
there is that was the video we guys did a video not gonna hold you dub birdie video dub birdie video not gonna hold you i really i honestly like really enjoyed that not gonna hold you when i said i can relate to like a lot of these because it's like you know in elementary school and then i don't probably say a little bit in middle school i was kind of like roast for this but then it's like you know eventually i got better at first of all being friendlier to people um being more funny than people because sometimes you know i got made fun of for certain sh shit and i was like sometimes you just gotta embrace it you know sometimes if you just embrace it then like you know you, you become like a better person but sometimes like mm. but i was like you know i started to become more friendlier more funnier more chill to hang out with and it was like you know eventually i realized like you know you gotta hang out with people that are kind of like you but like you know aren't like really really like you but then it's like if you hang out with like bad kids it's like oh you're gonna get like your whole shit roasted just for this so it's like you know eventually eventually i i got less roasted for shit and it's like you know most of the time i would just be the one watching and like probably trying not to laugh or i'm just like Oops. Guys, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and get notified when I upload a new video. I kind of want to get what do you guys want to react to next. Guys, that was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.